Welcome to Untamed Outdoors. So you just seen, we just unloaded a 90 horse Yamaha four stroke outboard engine. I'm out here with our 18 foot G3. Currently we have a 60 horse two stroke Yamaha on here. And we've been looking for a four stroke for many years. Um, don't get me wrong, the two stroke Yamahas are awesome. But we wanted something that was a little more powerful and a little quieter. And uh, these four strokes, you can't go wrong. So we've been looking for years and years and uh, something popped up on Facebook Marketplace the other day. And I texted my dad and he said, let's go look at it right now. So uh, we went and picked it up. We went and looked at it. It turned out to be awesome. It ran good, it started good. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's good. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it out with this 60 horse Yamaha, this two stroke here. So uh, everything should be plug and play. Um, I did a little research, they do use a different remote but i think we can make this one work so stay tuned and uh let's see if we can't get this thing thrown on here swapped out we'll take it to the lake and uh see how it runs so we got the 90 horse yamaha in the shop i got the boat pulled out right in front of the shop and we're going to do that motor swap today now if my research is correct both of these motors even the old two stroke and this newer four stroke they both have the same 10 pin connection harness so i I'm pretty sure it's going to be plug and play, fingers crossed, but uh, we're fixing to find out. That's what we're going to get into today. I actually hooked the uh, G3 boat up to the Polaris Ranger yesterday and pulled it over by our water hose. I got one of those little nifty things you can put down on the lower unit to where you can actually start it outside of water. And I did a little video because what we're going to do is once we get this on there and determine that it's going to work out okay and everything, we're going to list that little two-stroke for sale. So let's just get to it.
So we got the motor mounted, we got the gas hooked up, all the electrical hooked up, all the steering and the uh, drive for forward and reverse. Now the test is going to be hooking the water up to it and making sure that the uh, harness from our old Yamaha two-stroke will fit on this four-stroke. So I'm going to hook this water up, we're going to see if it'll turn over and start. And if it goes good, we might take it to the lake and take it for a little test run. Going down, it's kind of slow for some reason. Put that lower one back in, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Well, the good news for today is we got the motor swapped. All the electrical, everything was plug and play. The motor started up. Uh, we had to actually adjust the linkage. If you've seen in the video, when the first time I started it up, it was revving really high, high RPMs. And whenever you were doing the throttle, it was kind of weird. And then whenever I put it back in neutral, the throttle stayed up and it didn't go back down. So I had to adjust the linkage. And once we got that adjusted, it purrs like a kitten. But now the uh, tilt and trim motor is locking up. Every once in a while it'll work, but I think the brushes or something's going out. So I'm gonna get online and do a little research and see if I can't find a cheap replacement motor for this tilt and trim unit. Gonna cut this video short. We were wanting to go out and take it for a little test run and see how it ran on this boat. But I don't wanna try to risk it without having that tilt and trim on there. But hopefully in a future Untamed Outdoors video, we can get this boat out there here pretty quick. Maybe do a little fishing. So if you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Click the notification bell so you'll know when we upload a new video. Leave us a comment and we'll see you next time.